Oh, hey, you caught me. I'm a bit of a germaphobe. I hate dirty surface areas. But you want to know who else is that way? The astronauts on the International Space Station. And thanks to some new technology, they are going to have the cleanest station in the whole galaxy. It's the latest tech news from space, next on Real World. NASA has a new technology that is getting attention from the highest ranks. Uh, any of the young people have another question? Have you found any life forms or any plants out in space? It's a good question. Any, uh, any life forms out there other than you guys? We did an experiment on this mission uh, to take a swab or a sample of the surface of the EVA, the spacewalker's gloves, both before and after the spacewalk. And that's, uh, that was sort of a demonstration of the type of technology that we'll be able to use on the Moon and Mars uh, for the same purpose, to try and see if we can determine what sort of bacteria or microorganisms are living uh, in the various environments we're going to encounter. We unfortunately haven't really found anything here. I think we'll have much more uh, success at finding new types of life and different structures when we go to places like Moon and Mars and Moon to Titan and these other types of uh, environments. Excellent question. The program they're referring to is called LOCAD. LOCAD is Lab on a Chip Application Development. The technology employs a small amount of fluids and involves behavior, precise control, and manipulation of those fluids on a very small scale. This is actually a microfluidic chip. It's, um, it's made out of glass. Dr. Lisa Monaco is a LOCAD scientist at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And the way they make these is by using all the same technologies they do to use to make integrated circuits. You know, like computer chips, except instead of information traveling along the circuit, it's little bits of fluid. And if you look real closely up to the light, you see all the tiny little channels in there. And those are the channels where we have um, chemical reactions going on and can do analyses. This technology is perfect for the International Space Station, where astronauts have to constantly monitor their environment to make sure it stays clean and free of harmful bacteria. Your sample size is very small, and what's really good, especially when you're on the space station, is all your solutions are contained. So you've already got everything that you need to do the experiment right on the chip. And that's huge, because pre-chip technology involves taking a sample and then analyzing it, using a variety of chemicals. In a case like this, you'd have to take the sample to a lab for analysis. You might not know results for weeks. This is an issue because bacteria multiply exponentially. One germ turns into two, two into four, four into eight, and so on. And this can happen pretty quickly. In the right environment, bacteria multiply once every 20 minutes. That means one turns into eight in an hour, more than 16 million in eight hours. Exponential multiplication can be calculated by multiplying the initial amount, A, by one plus the growth rate, in this case, one to the power of x, which is the number of intervals. So in our example, one times one plus one to the 24th power, which is how many intervals the bacteria would double itself by over eight hours. So two to the 24th power, or 16,777,216. So obviously it's vital to address issues quickly on the space station, which is why the LOCAD system is built for speed and convenience. This is called the swabbing tool. And the astronaut on board would just take a little packet, like a bubble packet, and pull out all the items they would need, easy to assemble, and the astronaut only needs to go over and go to the area of interest, the crew member, and do a swab, and then place this cartridge, which has all the reagents needed for the chemical reactions into the unit, and then you just simply dispense your volume right into the reservoir well. And then you press enter, and within less than 15 minutes, you get a reading. This is being used on the station currently for technology demonstration, which basically means they are testing it out to make sure it works up there. And we've done it many times. We've had 
many crew members sample at their desire all over the space station. And the results? The uh, ISS is kept very clean. So they have routine cleaning procedures. And when it's a material or a surface that's easily wiped, we've found that it's typically uh, clean. There have been a couple surprises, some areas that might have padded fabric that doesn't get a routine wipe that show um, bacterial uh, signatures. Speaking of bacterial signatures, my lab results are in. Oh, and this doesn't look so good. This technology could have dramatic uses in places other than space too, like in medicine, where your doctor could test your blood and get results almost immediately. But for now, scientists and engineers continue to develop the technology to make it a useful component on the space station.